Salmonellosis is an infection caused by bacteria known as Salmonella. Salmonella germs have been known to cause illness for over 100 years, and according to the CDC, every year approximately 40,000 cases of the illness are reported in the United States. Because many milder cases are not diagnosed or reported, the actual number of infections may be 30 or more times greater. Most people infected with Salmonella develop diarrhea, fever, and abdominal cramps 12 to 72 hours after infection. The illness usually lasts four to seven days, and most people recover without treatment. However, in some people, the diarrhea may be so severe that the patient needs to be hospitalized. In these patients, the salmonella infection may spread from the intestines to the bloodstream, and then to other body sites, and can even cause death unless the person is treated promptly with antibiotics. The elderly, infants, and those with impaired immune systems are more likely to have a severe illness. Because foods of animal origin may be contaminated with salmonella, people should not eat raw or undercooked eggs, poultry, or meat. Raw eggs may be unrecognized in some foods, such as Caesar salads and other homemade salad dressings, tiramisu, homemade ice cream, homemade mayonnaise, cookie dough, and frostings. Poultry and meat, including hamburgers, should be well cooked, not pink in the middle. People should not consume raw or unpasteurized milk or other dairy products, and produce should always be thoroughly washed. Cross-contamination of foods should be avoided. Uncooked meats should be kept separate from produce, cooked foods, and ready-to-eat foods. Hands, cutting boards, counters, knives, and other utensils should be washed thoroughly after touching uncooked foods. Hands should be washed before handling any food and before handling different food items. Some pets, including reptiles, are particularly likely to have salmonella. It can contaminate their skin, and everyone should immediately wash their hands after handling reptiles. To learn more about salmonella and other food pathogens, please visit emsl.com or foodtestinglab.com.